In this lesson, we'll look at style presets in Divi 5 and how they help keep your design consistent. Presets allow you to define how modules look by default, so you don't have to restyle them every time you add a new one. Every module in Divi comes with a default design preset. For example, when you add a button or text module, it uses Divi's standard style. The power of presets is that you can change this default once, and every new module of that type will automatically follow your updated design. Take the text module as an example. By default, the text size is 14 pixels and the color is dark gray. If I want every text module to use different values, I can update the default preset. To do this, I open the text module and click on Select a Preset in the top right corner. When I hover over Text Default Preset and click the cog wheel, the preset settings open. You'll notice the panel background turns black. This tells you that you're editing the preset itself. I can now change the font size and color, save the preset, and from this point on, every new text module I add will automatically follow these updated defaults. And the same process works for buttons, blurbs, or any other module. Now let's move on to custom presets. Instead of having just one default style, you can create multiple presets for a single module type. For example, let's say I've styled a blurb that I want to reuse. To create a preset from it, I open the blurb settings, go to select a preset. Since this blurb is already styled, I'll choose new preset from current styles. I can give it a name and then save. From now on, every time I add a blurb, I can apply either the default preset or my custom preset with a single click. If I ever edit that custom preset, the changes will automatically update across all blurbs that use it. Presets are always editable, whether they're default or custom. If you update a preset, every module using it will reflect the change instantly. This makes presets a powerful tool for keeping design consistency across larger websites. You can also create presets for individual settings. For example, imagine I want to save the box shadow style I applied to this button. I can open the preset tab for that setting, choose new preset from current styles, give it a name, and save it. Now this box shadow preset can be reused on any element, like an image. All I have to do is open the box shadow settings, go to presets, and select the saved shadow. By combining default presets, custom presets, and even setting specific presets, you can create a library of consistent styles that match your brand and save yourself a huge amount of time. That's how style presets work in Divi 5. In the next module, we'll begin applying our design system and presets as we start building out real pages.